yo, yo, what is good, guys? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy, bringing you an awesome, awesome gameplay, playing on the map Sanctuary. I actually got this in my live stream, and I was just in shock whenever I got it, because it was the first game of the day, and I just went in, and I did this to these kids, and I dropped a double Moab. I'm not going to say my final score. Um, watch till the end of the video if you want to see it, but I'll tell you something. It was like 35 to 1, or something like that, if you wanted a little hint. But today, the commentary topic that I had was uh, designated for a long video and a long gameplay, so I was happy that I got this one. And it is, what is YouTube to me? And what I mean by that is, what, why do I do YouTube? Like, why, why is it so important to me and why do I work so hard at it? And the first point that I want to make is, YouTube is, you know, a part of my job. You know, my job is... To play video games professionally and I know YouTube isn't professionally playing you know I'm, I'm playing public matches usually and posting uh, my gameplay and then you know my voice commentary over it and throwing a little bit of personality in and you know that's that is a job like a lot of people don't possess the skills necessary to do stuff like this it's just like math you know some people aren't good at speaking and they get nervous whenever they're speaking in front of audiences. And I know that I'm not speaking in front of, you know, actual human beings. But I'm talking to you. Like, I'm still talking to you. You're just not physically there. You know what I'm saying? You guys are just behind the computer screen as well as I am. And then I'm just communicating my thoughts verbally to you guys. And, you know, not everyone can do that. I know a lot of people that go to my school that tell me all the time. I'm like, I tell, well... Okay, I tell them that I do YouTube for a living, and then they're like, you know, uh, not a living, you know, like a job to make some money as a teenager. But they ask me, you know, what do you do? And I'm like, I talk for copious amounts of time in front of this computer screen uh, about gameplay, about, you know, real life experiences, about tips that I can give you guys to try and get better at the game. And they're, they're just like, holy, that must be hard to think of, you know, different commentary topics to come up with, um, different, you know, different things to talk about. It's just, that's probably the most difficult part about YouTube, to be pretty honest, is, you know, finding the things that you want to talk about. And then whenever that, whenever you get that, it's just your personality and you just talking that really shines through. And that part's really easy, but I know a lot of people that couldn't do that. It's just like me and math, like my brain just does not work with math. Like, my, I'm so unoriented with math. It is unreal. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even take a math this year because that's how much I hate it. But I took all my other classes. But, yeah. So, YouTube is my job. It is a part of my job. It's not my only, you know, job. I am a competitive gamer. I fly around the world to make extra money. And then I have a couple, a couple other sources of income that come in. But this is one of the bigger ones. So, this is one of my jobs. The next point that I wanted to make was it's a stress reliever. You know, being in high school, it's stressful. Um, taking tests, you know, every other day, taking quizzes every other day, having to study for, you know, uh, assessments and other things like that, and then doing homework, and it's, it's just all stressful. And then, especially since it's my senior year, you know, I'm going off to college next year. And that just increases the stress level. I have to be looking for a college. I already have where I want to go in mine. But I still haven't went through the process of applying and writing my college essay and getting letters of recommendation from my teachers. So there's just so many things that are swirling around in my head every single day that are like, it's just crazy that I'm not going to be, I'm going to be at college next year. And it really hasn't struck me yet because it's still early in my senior year. But I'm going to be at college next year. And I know that's, that scares most people. And a lot of people, but I, I think college is going to be awesome. You know, I, I love my friends now, but I can't wait to go meet my new friends at college because I know that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a lot of new friends, and that's it's the part of college that everyone underestimates. But is, this is a stress reliever because when I come home and, you know, all that's on my mind, whenever I sit down and I talk to you guys about, you know, a video game that I enjoy playing most of the time, let me add that. I don't really enjoy MW3 all the time, but during times like these, you know, MW3 is my favorite game in the world, but me being able to sit here and just vent my thoughts, it's like going to a therapist, except there's like 28,000 of you, 28,000 therapists there 
that are just listening to what I have to say and, you know, giving me your feedback on what I'm saying. And that's just, it's a good way for me to interact with you guys and relieve a lot of the stress that I have bearing down on my shoulders. The third thing, it's fun. I, en I thoroughly enjoy doing YouTube I've been doing a video a day for a while now. I, it's probably coming close to a month or maybe even more than a month. But I've been doing a video a day and it's just really fun. You know, I push myself to new limits trying to get new gameplays. Um, and then I know that I don't always get the best gameplays. I mean, I get Moabs, but like that's not a best gameplay to me. Like a Moab isn't that hard to get. I'm not trying to sound cocky at all when I say that. It's just they aren't for me. Getting a single Moab in a game, I could probably get one every at least three games playing solo. But it's just hard sometimes to get the best of the best gameplays. Because I am a competitive player, you know. I mean, I'm spending a lot of and devoting a lot of my time over to the competitive scene. Because I obviously want to win the tournaments. And that's where I started from day one was with competitive. And then YouTube was just sort of branched off of that. With uh, people telling me I should get a capture card and stream. And then I was like, alright, I'll do YouTube now. But, um... It is really fun for me. Um, I do enjoy pushing myself and, you know, trying to reach my ultimate best. And I think this was one of my best gameplays. Um, I got a triple Moab in the beginning of the game, but that was before I had, you know, YouTube or a capture card or anything. And I didn't record it. That was my best gameplay ever. But um, this, this was definitely up there with one of my best. Uh, I got a gameplay very similar to this on... Um, what was the map? Fallen, when I was playing with Hex and Tumors and a couple other of the Optic crew. But I actually went 75-2 and two on that, and this is really close to that. So those were two of my, you know, better gameplays since that triple Moab that I got. And I really wish that I did save that, because that was literally insane. But enough with that, I'm getting sidetracked. The last, uh, one of the last reasons that I like doing YouTube is I get to meet a lot of new friends, you know. Uh, through competitive gaming as well, I've just met so many awesome people that I never would have gotten the opportunity to meet uh, if I didn't do these things. Uh, a couple examples, like the people that I meet over in Europe. You know, I'm flying to Europe to play video games. Like, I don't understand. I just can't believe that that is what things have come to whenever I was just back in the day playing this game for fun and for recreation and just... Um, I would come over from school and just play and just scream at kids and, you know, have a good time. But now it's turned into something where I'm, you know, traveling internationally to play this video game at very high stress level events. But the events are so much fun and, you know, I get to talk to all these new people. I get to meet all these new fans. I get to re-see re a lot of my friends that I've met from prior events. And, like, I've learned so much culture from it, too, you know. Going to Europe and seeing how they live there is just insane, even though I haven't been to the best parts of Europe. Because um, Blackpool, everyone tells me that lives in Europe that Blackpool is one of the shittiest places to uh, like ever be at. Whenever you're in Europe, it's still, I get to see their culture. I, their clothing is just so different. And I'm not knocking it, because I actually like their clothing. Freaking v-necks and vans, and I don't really like skinny jeans, but the v-necks are cool. Because a lot of people wear them over there. But yeah, YouTube is just, there's just so many different things that I have, you know, learned. You know, life, les life lessons have came from YouTube. Um, I even said after my first speech uh, of, my, of the year this year, it was about um, artists internationally. And because uh, I'm in a world literature class, so we had to pick um, an artist that is from out of the U.S. And I mean, people did like Rihanna and like Justin Bieber because he's from Canada and shit like that. But I actually did a band called Twin Atlantic, and if you haven't ever heard of them, look them up. I recommend listening to Free or Crashland if you're going to look them up. And let me know what you think of them in the comments if you end up looking them up. Because they're honestly one of my favorite bands now, and they're from Scotland. And um, I said after my, after my speech, actually, that, you know, I think that YouTube has helped me become a better public speaker. Because I've always been, you know, I've always been a class clown. I've always been one to crack jokes while we're in class and make people laugh and smile. But, you know, I've always been really nervous to get up in front of people and talk in a formal manner. Because, I don't know, it's just it just freaks me out because they're all judging my speech. And then they judge their speech by my speech. And it's just like a competition that I don't enjoy. But I definitely have gotten a lot better at it. 
um, because of YouTube and just talking to you guys every day. It's just public speaking is not hard for me anymore. It wasn't hard for me in the first place, but it has become a lot easier. But I hope you, that you guys did enjoy this gameplay, and I'm sorry that the screen went black there. I was snoozing on the controller. But um, if you did enjoy this gameplay, leave it a like, a favorite, and a comment. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day, and take it easy. Peace.